Hey guys, this is Darren with East Woodland Survival. Today we're going to try to make a uh, blackberry cobbler using this little mucket sold by Hablis. Uh, got some fresh blackberries in here. They've already been washed and cleaned. Got some really good sized ones in here. And uh, going to try to uh, see how they do today on the campfire. We're going to be using basic ingredients. Uh, I've got some evaporated milk. This is just some uh, pre-measured uh, baking mix. Got a little bit of brown sugar to sweeten the berries a little bit. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to actually sweeten the berries with a little bit of sugar. Now you can use uh, brown sugar, white sugar, honey, anything to sweeten this up a little bit because uh, blackberries are generally a little sour. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. It'd be nice to have some uh, butter, but since I don't have any butter, this is something that'd be pretty easy to make on the trail. Uh, right now I'm going to add in uh, a little bit of milk. I'm going to make this about the consistency of pancake batter. And my phone keeps going off. Sorry about that, guys. Just going to take a little bit of this condensed milk and shake it well. It's actually evaporated milk. I'm sorry. Use the old trusty P38. Now I'm going to mix it straight into this bag. And like I say, what I'm after is about the consistency of a uh, pancake batter, because I'm going to actually swirl this in. And I want some of it to set on the top to make a nice little crust. And I'm not going to let that milk go to waste either. Probably have that with my uh, blackberry cobbler. All right, that's about the consistency I'm after. It's kind of a runny mixture. And I'm going to put that directly in my berries. I'm going to reserve a little bit of it for the top. And I'm just going to stir this in. And now the rest is going to go directly on top. It should have a nice crust on it when we're done. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of sugar and just sprinkle on top. I'm 
You can always go back and adjust it uh, after it's cooked. All right. There's what we have. I don't want to get it too close there. I hope you guys can see it there. And we're going to put that directly on the fire. Uh, and I'll show you how that's done. Give me just a second. All right. I'm using charcoal today just for because it's a little easier to fool with. It's about 100 degrees out. and uh, This is just a piece of bark off a hickory tree. Use them to kind of spread the coals out. I want to reserve a few of these for the top. I'm going to take the, butt, the mucket and set directly on top of the coals. And I'm going to add a couple of briquettes on the top, just like a Dutch oven. Now we're going to let that set for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then we'll check it and see how it's doing. So we'll be back in just a minute. All right, guys, let's sneak a peek. Been about uh, 10 or 15 minutes. Let's sneak a peek and see what we've got. Oh man. I'm thinking it's about ready, guys. Get the camera and zoom in on it there. I believe I'm going to take it off of there. Let it cool a little bit and give it a taste. You probably want to let it cool off for a little while. Uh, it'll continue to cook a little bit in there. But uh, right now it'd be like lava. <laughs> you tried to eat it. So I would just suggest uh, letting it set for a few minutes letting it cool off and then uh, let it continue to cook on its own without any heat and uh, let's see how it does. We'll be back here in a minute and uh, we'll do a taste test on it and I'll tell you what it's like. Okay guys, it's been setting and cooling a little bit. Uh, thought we'd just see what it uh, what it looks like here. That is some good looking cobbler. Oh man. Mm -mm. Guys, that is delicious. Just enough sugar, still a little tart. <clears throat> the bread turned out beautiful in it. Hope you can see that. But the bread turned out really nice in there. Mmm. Man. I could eat this whole thing right here. The only thing it's missing 
is a big dollop of butter or a big scoop of vanilla ice cream. <laughs> That's what she looks like. That's really enough for about two people. One big hungry guy, I guess. But <clears throat> for just a few ingredients and stuff out here in the woods, man, I'm sorry, I just can't, I can't quit eating this. Well, guys, just for a, uh, a few ingredients, uh, this is really tasty. Um, kind of a one pot deal. Man, this is something great for out in the woods. Mm. Easy cleanup. Basically, I'm only going to have uh, this can to clean, uh, the spoon, and a spatula. I have some uh, evaporated milk, which I poured off into a, a, a bottle here, and I kind of have this milk with it as you go. Alright guys, this is Darren with East Woodland Survival. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I uh, hope you get out and try some of this on your own. Uh, real simple, easy to make, and uh, if I can make it, you can make it. Hope to see you guys in the woods.